Hello and welcome back to Space Engine Days. In today's video, we're looking at another large block ship that's built for exploration. This thing that I'm currently standing on is called the Curiosity Class Exploration Corvette, which is this lovely thing with a gigantic hole in the front for decorative purposes. That's what drew me to this ship. You don't really see this type of design too often. But yes, this is an exploration ship with a few guns around the outside, a full-on interior. It does not have a survival kit. It does not have a refinery and assembler, but it does feature a large reactor power this thing as well as a bunch of jump drives where you can jump almost 8 kilometers in one go. So pressing F10 and find this in spawn menu, the Curiosity class is 1519 large blocks using pretty much all the DLC packs. It uses no mods, it uses no scripts, but does feature two programmable blocks with nothing on them so you can set them up with stuff that you need, such as the auto dawn airlock script which is what I've done for this video. We have got a nice lot of information about it, we see that it's survival ready, we see it's a fast recon vessel, and it's got a little story behind it, as well as the complete specifications of what it can do. So giving this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, have a good look around the outside, a quick tour of the interior. And what we're going to do is go and fly over to some space pirates which are sitting in the distance, which should be all the way up to there, and we're just going to slam straight into them. So at the very front, we can't really see too much, it's just a bunch of grey steel blocks. But if we were to move around onto the side, and like I said earlier, this is what drew me to the ship, Got this lovely and fascinating little circular section in the middle, which has some blue and a white edge, which give it a very unique design. Right above there is a turret for a bit of defense. There's one of a few hydrogen thrusters that go all the way around the ship, and the ship does use hydrogen and ion thrusters, who are good for pretty much everywhere. Over to here, there is our doorway to get in and out with four merge blocks all the way around it, so you can connect up whatever you want to connect up to. There's a bunch of leather blocks to spell out curiosity. And all the way over to here, there's a window block here inside. There's some more layer blocks saying the AFP. Then as we're to move along, there's some ion thrusters. There's a Gatling turret, a couple blaster edge blocks. All the way around towards the very back, this is what's going to push it around. And I do love the diagonal thrusters set up like this. It looks very, very good if we look on this side. There we go. That's simply how it's been set up. But yes, we've got four larger ion thrusters and not too much else to talk about at the back here. So moving all the way up and looking down, there's some more blaster edge blogs, there's some more iron and hydrogen thrusters, there's an antenna to make sure we can always find this thing, there's the gun on the opposite side, then moving all the way along towards the very front, there is where I'm standing, there's more blue blocks, and over there is our other turret, and there is the very front where we do have our top mounted camera from the latest DLC pack, I believe it was the DLC pack, could have been the update, I can't actually remember. Yes, all the way down the uneath it, all the way past here, there's some more hydrogen thrusters, there's a connector to the up, there's the bottom of our merge blocks. I'm putting my light on over here. Not too much else to talk about. Just a couple more iron thrusters and some more blue blocks. And there we go. That's a very brief look around the outside of the Curiosity Class Exploration Corvette. And it looks bloody fantastic how it's all been set up. But now what I can do is grab hold of my character because this thing does have a lot bigger interior than I was expecting. So we're going to come all the way down and find the doorway. And yes, if you really want to, you could play a game of chicken with your friends, try to have a small ship fly in and out of this thing as it was moving, but that could always end very badly. Anyway, up into this doorway, opening this up, this is our first little airlock room, where we can see the doorway that goes to the opposite side. Now, if the door can stop killing me, that would be great. Anyway, down to here is our four block air vent, and around the room, we've got some planters, a doorway to lead inside, interior light to make sure it's nice and bright inside here, then a bunch of lockers at the back of the room with another interior light. And there we go, that's all there is to this room. Just moving through here, opening this up, we've got a few ways where we can go, just ignore the steps for the moment, come past this, past another air vent, into this, this is our large reactor bay, where we've got our lovely industrial reactor, where we can walk all the way up to it, come all the way around, all the way down this section, put a cargo container, where there's one on the opposite side, you can just about make that out. And around the room, some armory lockers, some shelves, there's a great use of the new pipe blocks, just some decoration. Round over there, not much else to talk about. Coming to the opposite side, exact same setup. Now we come all the way through here, open up this, back through to this section. Both of these sides are going to be identical, so we just come up this for the moment. We've got ourselves a planter, another doorway, where we can open up to another set of stairs and a door. Through this doorway is going to be your living quarters where you've got your bed, planter, and a shower and toilet setup, so it's very nice stuff. We're going to open up this, come to the opposite side, where we will have the exact same thing. Turning around, coming up the steps, facing backwards, come all the way up to here, through this doorway, open this up, and this is going to be our bridge. We've got to come all the way down to here, and this is just a small intermittent room that should have come to first. But there is our kitchen block, there's our gravity generator, there's our two inset light blocks, and some chairs for you to sit in and eat your food in. Yes, turn around, come back into where we just were, opening up this, this is our bridge. 
We've got our programmable blocks on each side there. Once again, they do not have anything on by default. I simply added the auto store and envelope script to make it a bit more easier in the video. Turn around, small planters, chair in the middle, then LCD screen at the back there, telling you your target logged. Hopping into the seat, first person view, of course we're not going to be able to see too much on the outside. We are going to be heavily reliant on that camera on top, or of course, the third person camera. These are the controls we get. So of course, number one is going to be for the camera on top so we can get a good view of what's going on. And for the moment, what we're going to do, is just turn ourselves all the way around, cause the space pirates, which are somewhat up in this direction. There they are. Anyway, coming out of that, two and three is for our thrusters to override for our iron thrusters. Number four is for our turrets all the way around the ship to turn them on and off. Number five is for our antenna on and off. Number six is for our jump tribes where we can jump 7,922.03 kilometers thanks to the four jump tribes, which is bloody good stuff for an exploration ship. Number seven is for our connectors to lock and unlock them. Number eight is for our ore detector on and off. And then number nine is for our thrusters all around the ship to turn them on and off. Onto tab number two is for a master toggle for our doorway, where we can just click that, close everything, if you don't want to use the auto dawn airlock script. And there we go, that is that for the controls. So for a quick thruster test to see how this handles, moving forwards, we've got some fantastic speed thanks to those four large ion thrusters. Coming to a stall, we are a little bit slower, so we need to be quite careful when approaching a station or your base, make sure you don't slam into it, and damage something that you want to keep. Moving left, there we go, and moving right, we are very slow with that. Moving down, again, very slow. Moving up, feels even slower. So there we go, so moving forwards is best, moving backwards is just as good, and the slowest is moving up. Then as for the gyroscope controls, this is what we get. We are exceptionally heavy, something that I'll expect from a large battleship, or even a ship of this size. So it certainly suits it, and it will be very hard to turn around. You can be heavily reliant on those turrets to blast the enemies, or you can do what I'm gonna do in just a minute, and slam straight into them. And yes, with that said, what I am going to do, turn on that, align myself with this, I'm going to go and charge all the way over, and well, that'll be the end of this video. So unfortunately, the space pirates despawned before I got to them, for some odd reason using the jump drives caused everything to unload, then reload. So what we're going to do, and why I'm looking at this asteroid, is of course, we're going to slam into it at high speed, and it should be arriving at any second. And here it comes. It looks very tiny compared to the asteroid, we've got to get a bit closer. I was actually thinking it was a lot bigger than that. Here we go, any time now, and straight into it, there goes the explosion of the hydrogen tanks, just got ejected back into the first person camera, back into the third, that is what's happened. That is a nice lot of damage. So what I'm gonna do now is just cram all my character, can we place a seat anywhere so we can control this thing? This looks like a prime area to do it. And there we go, there's a cockpit on there, can we reverse this thing out? No we cannot. Can I wiggle this thing out? Might be able to, but it's gonna take quite some time. I still consider that a fantastic little crash to end this on. So yes, it's a lovely little ship to use in your world if you want to have something very fancy to go out and explore with. Very easy to customize and add on things that you need, such as removing the large reactor, say putting on a refinery, an assembler, maybe a bunch of small reactors for some power, and there's plenty of places around the outside for you to attach some turrets if you do want to have a bit more defense. So there'll be a link to the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. Highly recommend you do, as well as a link to the skybox I'm currently using, which is called the Queen of Heavens, I believe. Yes, thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye-bye.